Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Hardcore Rotary Craft. Keep seeing bad guys all over the place on the map. So we were setting this up last time. And it turns out that uh, it isn't what I exactly wanted it to be. And unfortunately, that item's going to get stuck down there. Um, I, I actually already recorded the first part of this episode once, um, but and this is the first time it's ever happened. GX Tori tripped up on me. Oh nope. And so, well, I'm having to re-record it, basically. Start from scratch. There we go. That's how I want it. So we're actually going to change this guy's output to be the east, like so. We're going to put down a shaft junction. Like that. There we go. Input, output, output. Perfect on this guy so we want this to be west and south yeah there we go so yep we should have everything we need except I don't have a lever why do we need a lever well we need to be able to switch this guy there we go. Controls automation. Perfect. We got water here, water here. And I think the setup should be right. So if we put dirt and sugar into here, it should start making yeast at some point. Although, okay, there we go. It might have to do with the fact that it's not very warm out. Just a thought. So that's listing it as pretty cold. I don't have any fires this time around, so we'll see what happens. So the goal then is we want a servo here. The lever is just going to be in the way, isn't it? There we go. And we want the last item ducked here. With a servo there. It would help if I had a chest, because that's the whole point of what I wanted here. No. That is a chest. I need a crafting. Apparently it went missing. There we go. Perfect. Now if it's smart enough, see we've got a yeast here. If it's smart enough, it should be able to do this. Okay, it pulls it out. Puts it in here. We put our items in here. And it'll start making this sludge. Yeah, it must be because of the, the temperature. It should pick up then. <gasps> I love watching it. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I still don't understand the sound, but I don't know. It is what it is. So I showed you guys this in the video that I already recorded but didn't work we got sludge now so what is sludge used for something pretty cool now saplings aren't the greatest thing to use we'll probably use leaves which is why I was letting all that stuff grow up the trees but if we throw sludge 
into our overflow box here. It'll get cooked into ethanol crystals. What are ethanol crystals used for? Well, to power a certain engine. Well, a couple, but it's the first step. Gasoline engine. Now, this guy produces 65 kilowatts of power. That's pretty good when you figure that most of the engines we're working with right now only produce 4 kilowatts. So this one engine can replace the majority of what's going on downstairs. Pretty cool, right? In fact, we'll probably want it to. Um, but we need to make sure that we're automating our, our stuff as well as possible. That windmill looks cool. So I want to see if this is warming up at all. It should be. Let me just double check. Yep, see now it's warming up. Should go faster. Oh, it actually went all the way through it. Really? It went through all that yeast? Wow. Well, I guess I probably should be putting the leaves in because it makes more. Hey, you are not supposed to miss. Let me grab some more sugar cane quick. I think I missed a piece somewhere. Oh, right here. Perfect. Let's make this up in the yeast right away too. Sugar. So apparently we're going to have to have some sort of a sugar cane farm then. Because it seems to be killing it. Well now it's working. Maybe because it was too cold. Well no, now it's using it. See? 20 degrees. Well maybe we need to find a place that it actually works better. I don't know. But it seems to be working now. Oh, look at all that. Easy, easy, easy. And that fuel will last us for quite a while. I forget the actual runtime on it. So just like that, we're down to one yeast again. Interesting. Well, I guess we're going to have to build out our farms even more. I wish there was a way to auto harvest sugarcane. Maybe there is. I'm going to have to look into that. I could do a uh, vanilla version. That would always work. So let me explore that a little bit and see if we can automate this a little bit better than what we're doing right now. Alright guys, so I think I have a plan. I want to make one of these guys first of all. Although, maybe I should make two. But for one, I'm just, for, for now, I'm just going to make one of them. So I'm going to need an ender pearl. I'm going to need another quartz and one of these guys. And I probably should not be right clicking with that ender pearl just in case. So this is a block update detector. Basically a bud switch in one block by expanded redstone. And we're also going to use the block breaker from expanded redstone but we're going to use this one which is the diamond one so we are gonna have to burn some of our diamonds but I think this is important I think I need one more, oh, one more piece of redstone if I remember correctly so what's cool, so cool about this? Well, um, oh yeah, it's not going to shift click in because uh, it's not stackable. That bug is still there. So I had already built, an, I had already built um, a stone one here, and the regular stone block breaker, it breaks the block right in front of it, like most block breakers do. Um, nothing special about it. I'm going to need redstone. 
I need some redstone to run this line. And actually, just in case. Let's see, we got a redstone torch there. Let me make another one quick. Uh, another quartz piece. Do I have regular sto stone in here? I do. There we go. And yes, I actually remember how to make not another quartz. I was thinking of comparator needs another another quartz. I remember how to make a repeater. How about that? Oh, I almost walked off. Okay, so as I was saying, the regular block breaker breaks one block in front of it. No big deal. Pretty normal. We already got one sitting here. So what I want to do, is I think I want to put it on this one right there. So we're going to do it like this. Uh, we're going to put in a block breaker like so. And here's the cool part. This block breaker breaks for 12 blocks out. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I could actually go one more if I wanted to. I'm actually going to take this guy for now. Put you there. So we have 12 blocks worth. What I'm going to put down now is that bud detector. Like so. Or bud switch or however you want to call it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need the repeater. This might be enough. Um, I do not have the watering can on me. That would be the next thing to check. Because what we need is we need it to break. Or we need it to grow so that it can break stuff. Um, and here is my watering can. Perfect. It's so much quieter without all the crazy mobs here. So, we need to water this guy and see what happens. It should grow. I could have grabbed one from the the reserves as well, but it has to be this one right here that's going to grow. Not that one. I need the next one. Come on, buddy. Okay, that one grew. game seems to take forever and now that one grew well you know what we're gonna do then we're gonna do this that should oh you know what the signal comes out the back Oh wait, I didn't need to break that one. <laughs> That's why I needed the repeater. Because then this right here gets to be too long of a signal. Now it all makes sense. I need a repeater there. Alright, now we put it on there. There we go. See? Oh, not even cool. Did you already go down? Where'd that skeleton go? Oh, missed that one. One more. Gotcha. Trying to level them up. 
I've got a modifier remaining on my bow so I can put um, auto repair on, but I'm waiting for this guy to get to the top. He should be able to get auto repair pretty soon. Gosh darn it all. That makes me angry. I wasn't even trying to walk off there or anything. I'll probably freeze to death. I uh, I was going, or I was sitting on top of a tree, uh, AFK, previously, and uh, it started raining, and didn't realize it. And when I came back, I was almost dying from hypothermia because the rain was making me so cold. So. Oh, I can't even get up here. Oh. <sighs> so anyways, how's it going, guys? <laughs> oh, no, I'm so slow because I can't move because I am hurting. We will get over there. I promise. Oh, there's skeletons up there. All right, there. Ah, oh, it's a dangerous place. I need to put fences or something around here. So as you can see, the issue was is that it just kicks it out the back. So as far as I'm concerned, if this, ooh, ooh. Okay. That doesn't connect. Well, that's okay. How about a, if I put a Java barrel here? There we go. Okay, I can handle that. So it just dumps into there first. And then I'll just uh, have to run stuff over there. So. Yeah, we're trying to run straight over to there. Do 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 do. Let's not fall again. And so we're running all the way over here. Oh, we're actually gonna have to go. Because we have to go into this one right here. For temporary purposes, this is probably the route we're going to have to go right here. And then... So, yes, it looks very messy. And what we may do, because that works best um, when there is sunshine, because right now it's too cold for it to run properly. Maybe what we'll have to do is put in uh, a daylight sensor and only run it then. That would be a thought. And we probably will have to modify this to make it a little better, expand it out, whichever, but this is just a temporary situation. Um, as we start expanding our world out into different areas, um, we'll probably make some dedicated farm areas. But for now, this will have to do. I'm actually going to put the servo in. And, oh yeah, um, right there. No, can't, can't pull out. Do I have to have the stupid hopper thing? I probably have to put the upgrade into it. 
Well, if that's the case, that just kind of sucks. I'm going to take all these over there. All right, I'm going to make the upgrade for it, but you kind of get the gist of what we're trying to do here. Hey, and hopefully my sugarcane farm will work out okay. But we may have to find something to make it run a little bit faster. All right, so there's two different items I want to try. Uh, the first one being the regular sprinkler they have here. Oh, you get four of them. Oh, you get, oh, you get four of them. And the other one being the ground sprinkler, which I believe is like that. Yeah. I want to try this guy especially. Um, I'm going to need some more water pipe for sure. I'm curious as to what that item was. Oh, steel wire. Okay. That's for uh, Electrocraft. That should be enough. And I have the two upgrades with me as well for the barrel. So we should, in theory, be able to get items over here. So you should be able to right click it and put the hopper in there. not showing that there's a destination here. Hmm. I wonder if those blocks are one-sided or something. But anyways, I had a feeling my shovel was going to break. Let's grab some water. And I don't mind running these water pipes along here. It's supposed to be kind of an industrial area. Now oh, the real question is, is where to put it. Oh, I heard that. That's a pig man. We put it like right here. Kind of curious as to how this is going to work. I'm very curious as to how this is going to work. And I heard something about high pressure water being dangerous. This is where I'm supposed to have that angular transducer. Now apparently if you put a higher pressure pump, so you're pumping more water, um, it'll work like the range will get even bigger. And the other sprinklers that I have, they are overhead mount. Yeah, let's use this guy. So it'd be a little different setup. Yep, there's definitely a pig man sitting over there by my uh, portal. Range is 8 meters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, yeah. How about that? So ideally, we probably should have it sitting right here. don't want to break those blocks because I don't want to let that water go there we go so I think this should work right here only got one piece of uh, Sugar cane to grow. So 
So yeah, that's an interesting concept. The other way to do it is with these guys. And... I just want to try this. So it'd sit up like that. Oh. Gravity. Well, maybe we can't use the overhead ones. Maybe we're stuck only using those guys. But it should help with growth. Hmm. Could probably put two of them in. I don't have what I need at the moment sitting here. And this, this bothers me. Oh, sugar, no, because sugar cane can't go into there. It has to be sugar. We need an auto crafter. Of course. We've got a rotary craft auto crafter. Do we have another crafting unit? we had another type of crafting unit in here. Oh yes, Steve's workshop. We can use the Steve's workshop. Oh, of course. Alright, let me set that up because that is an important thing to have. And I also want to make that daylight sensor uh, to make this system work more efficiently. Alright guys, so let's see if I can get this worked out. I'm curious as to how things are going here. Oh, we've got a bunch of wheat coming in. I guess the sprinkler is working. If we've got five, that means that it did grow it at some point. Interesting. So we are going to drop this table right here. Right here. This is a production table. Uh, from Steve's workshop. What we need to do is we need to put some upgrades in. What we want to do is we want to have a crafting upgrade, which gives us crafting table. We want to put in the auto crafter, and we want to put auto transfer and solar generator. There we go. So now we've got solar power coming in. Perfect. So if we come back to the main, you'll see this is our crafting grid right here. Now what we want to set is our actual um, fine. If it wants to give me two, it'll give me two. We want to set our crafting recipe. So for that, we're going to put in one sugar cane, and we're going to get one sugar. Perfect. Now we want to look at transfer. Now, the bottom is going to be our input, but we want select mode. So I want the back, no, this side, the left side, I believe. Yeah, you see how you can see the different designs? So you got the one, this little shape here, you've got, that looks like a saw, and maybe a hammer there. Yeah, so saw and hammer's the right side, here's the little front side that we get. So we want the opposite side right here. And we want that to be an output. We want that enabled, and we want it to auto-transfer. Now I don't know, if I don't, it won't auto-transfer when there's only one in here because it holds this recipe in there. Now what we also want to do is then the bottom side we want to be considered the input and we want it to auto transfer. Now if that worked correctly this should go down to zero. Yes. So what it did, and you'll see it here come in. Now see it's auto crafting because it's got power and it's got an item. And now it'll sit here with just one. It means this is probably running right here, or it did. Yep, see, yeast. Now you're, we're waiting for the items to get over here and it will take a little bit because I'm using regular item ducts, but that's okay. Um, this is set up to be automatic, so I'm not really worried about how long it takes. 
No, I could put in a storage there. Just one. But I don't think it's going to be a problem because this will take a stack at a time up here. And it'll just keep running and it'll just keep using a little bit of power. And this will fill up with the solar panel power and it'll run all the way through the night even. Uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. So just like that, we're going to have plenty of yeast in here. This is all set up for us. Uh, the only thing is we're going to have to put dirt in here from time to time. We'll have to watch that. Not exactly sure why the temp dropped. Oh, because nighttime's almost here. I see. Oh, there's some more wheat. My question is, yeah, we're getting a bunch of seeds to get stuck in here, but you know what else can you do? I don't know what else you can do. Um, this is definitely growing. See what I thought about doing? And I still could do it is to put in another block detector like right over here and run the redstone over here so that it has two places to check because if this goes three high and it breaks it'll drop that sugar cane down there and well we won't get it so I might actually make another block detector I hate to do it because ender pearls are not easy to come by right now um, we could go we could go to the end, beat the dragon, and not have to worry about it then. Um, what do you need? Six? No, seven, right? Maybe it is only six, but we need the ender pearl, and we need redstone, and maybe quartz. Block update detector. This one right here. Okay, we only needed six. Let me grab me some more redstone. And actually, I'm going to need some cobble. Uh, I have this making up some. Oh, shoot. Yeah, some iron for me that I grabbed because I needed some. Oh, it's. It is a bit grindy, I will tell you that much, but I'm kind of, I'm okay with that with the rotary craft because some of these things like, like this, this sprinkler setup, how cool is that? I mean, it's not something you see every day. Uh, maybe right here. I'm okay with it being right here. Now, of course, it's already grown in front of it, so it will not update unless I do this. There we go. There, it broke it. Perfect. So we've got two block update detectors, so we should be much better off for that. This guy's going to get some more sugar cane. We've got yeast, we've got everything we need. I think this is partially automated to the point where I just need to take my shears to a bunch of these trees here and uh, we'll get a bunch of ethanol. And the point of that being is that it'll give us the ability to make the gasoline engine and run it because it's got a lot more power. Um, I wanna be able to run the ethanol downstairs and replace a lot of those steam engines. So we can use steam engines elsewhere then too. Yep, see? Sugar goes in. It's going to run very slow because this is cold, which is why I was thinking about um, putting in the, the daylight sensor over there. Because you can run this the servo off of a daylight sensor. So it might be something to consider. Wow. This is, this is producing stuff like crazy. I'm gonna grab all the canola. I'm just, I just keep processing it because the lubricant we're gonna need. Um, we're gonna have big canola farms at some point. <laughs> soon. Well, not necessarily soon, but at some point. I think he's up there. 
So with that, guys, I have to check my time, but I think I'm pretty much there as far as time-wise. So let me check. Let's not put those in there. And uh, I'll see where I'm at. How much? Oh, 20 buckets worth. Nice. We are doing good. We are doing very good. So I'll be back in just a moment. It is indeed wrapping up time, but I want to do one thing first. Ooh, the bow. Auto repair. This is the big one, the arrows. Ooh. Auto repair. Oh yeah. So now the arrows will continue to replenish themselves. So you know what that means? Well, I can make much better much better weapons. Um, oh, I do not have for arrowheads yet. But, um, what I'm probably going to do is put some iron or something on for the tips. A little more damage. Uh, don't know what I'll do with the sharp bow yet. Haven't decided yet. But, uh, we definitely got a good start. Uh, I brought a bunch of the sludge over. We got quite a few ethanol crystals. And there might even be some more sludge over here now. I'm not sure yet. There's a lot of death markers over there. <laughs> Occasionally it seems the wheat is not getting picked up. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, we have over a stack. We got three stacks. Canola. We probably need something more like a, a vacuum hopper of some sort. If only there was such a thing. Oh, but there is. Nope, we haven't made any yet, so. Put in a little more dirt. I have leaves auto feeding into here, from here, over the top. And the sludge comes back out, so. You know, same type of setup. Um, and I do have the. Uh, daylight sensor sitting there so it does activate only at night but I think that's going to do it for us today there we go now we'll send some over there and I'm just going to sit here and try and make some more ethanol crystals and next time we're going to explore the gasoline engine uh, we're going to move up in our tiers and uh, we're going to see Maybe we can be a little bit smarter about how we set some of this stop stuff up and maybe we start looking for what I consider to be more of a farming area um, that we can utilize. So with that guys, thanks for watching and as always, take it easy. <laughs>